Howdy, this is Sailor the Piping Man coming to you early in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I've been on and off and uh, been thinking a lot. Been thinking a lot, you know, about what's going on. And, uh, Biden, I said something how Biden in my last, you know, he's taking a middle middle road but he came out and said something about the new world order I picked up and the way they're going about things got me very suspicious I want to mention something if you Ukraine listen up I don't trust Zulinski Zulinski whatever his name is I, I don't trust him I don't trust him Mentioning a lot about freedom, this and freedom, that. We need you to come help us and fight freedom fighters and all this stuff. When I recall when this whole thing started, he was forewarned. He didn't listen. He kept the people there. With something that's a no-no. Hoping, I don't know if he was hoping that they wouldn't he wouldn't attack because of the civilian population. But I recall when I was in the military, the t terrorists did the same thing in keeping people, and they would be among the people, terrorists in Lebanon. They would be around the people. I'm talking about when I was in the Lebanon conflict, Panamanian conflict, the uh, um, Grenada conflict, and when the PLO was in, in Lebanon, the PLO did used to do the same thing, keep families around them, and they'd be in the house with the family, breaking down the walls, breaking down, moving from section to section, firing missiles at Israel and whoever, and basically, I believe he was doing the same, the same tactic, similar. The second, he harbored Nazi sympathizers and, and nationalists, right wing. I just saw something that I believe in a lot of symbolism. I saw something that go back to the Nazi days. A whole squadron my Rossi pipe with seven seats. Love this stuff. I saw here the emblem of the, the Nazi lightning, the Z, a couple of Z's on all of them. I said, that this harboring back to the Nazi. The, the Nazis had that. And that's a symbolism, right? If you study Nazi occultism, which I did, in researching what was behind Hitler, was the belief That the Nazis, the Aryan race, were descendants from the fallen angels. I don't you recall, he sent expeditions to the Himalayas to find out more about the Aryan race and their belief systems, occult systems. That they, they really believed that they were descendants of the fallen angels. And they wanted to tap the symbolism, the resources, and do certain occultic things to gain power. If it sounds like Indiana Jones, <laughs> it's, it's something like that. But get back to the Zwinski. I'm noticing they're playing tapes over and over and over. All the media playing tapes over and over. The same situation. 
three days afterwards, they're playing the same tapes, saying a different narrative. Oh, this happened in this city. When in the, a couple of days before, that same video was shot in another city. So I asked a friend of mine, he's Ukrainian, he goes, that's not, he's stating something, but that's, that photo's not of that city, it's of another city that he has been to. So they're playing, they're playing mind games, they're playing political propaganda. And one thing that shocked me was, you know, his whole talk about they're for freedom, they, they want to be a part of NATO, they want to be, they want to do this and that. But when the young men were, they were evacuating, he said, none of the men could leave. None of the men could leave. They all had to stay and fight. Now, who the hell is he? Right? Freedom. To stop anybody from leaving the country show if they desire it. What was, why would someone young, intelligent, smart, in college, would want to stay and fight for somebody else and fight for a country that's right-wing nationalist. No, you have to stay and you have to fight, he said. Then he banned all opposition political parties in his country. And then on top of that, he declared martial law. And then the, the left-wing in, in the West are like, Oh, you know, worshiping the ground he walks on, man. Like he done something. The dude never picked up a rifle. Everybody's hand clapping him. NATO's giving him a lot of clap. Uh, 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 the e EU's him, yay. Israel now is like, oh, he's a great leader, this and that, because he's brave. He ain't pick up a gun. He ain't the Ku Klux, Klux, Klux Brothers. Those boxes, they're in the trenches. And he says he's for freedom. Yet, all the moves he's making is basically just like Putin. He'd rather see his city burnt down. You take a, took a great look at that. That this man is in power. And he's, he's supposed to be speaking on behalf of the people. Who's to say the people that are not being interviewed are nationalists and are for him? But have you heard one person dissent, a dissenting voice? Have you heard one person say, you know what? I have not come across one video in opposition to Zelensky. Not one. Saying, you know what? Be careful with him. I did find one sister. They came on on YouTube said there's something up with him. He banned martial law, freedom of movement. He's doing the same thing they're putting to him. I went, ah, somebody is awake. So we got the propaganda machine, 1984. Constantly playing those videos is another picture to, to you know you tell a lie long enough people start to believe it I'm not saying he's not telling the truth but he's not telling the whole truth about himself and his political agenda the fact that you ban all the political parties wouldn't you want all the political parties to unite and fight for the country you know he's banned all the political parties He's banned the men from leaving the country. He's talking all this rhetoric about freedom, freedom. Yet, he wanted this to happen. So I say, I really believe he wanted this to happen. So he can clamp down. And you know what? In a way, I think Putin was right. And I'm going to say it, whether you uh, is not politically correct. 
I think Putin was right, knew who this guy was, that he was a danger to Russia in the future. I think he, he knew what was up. He had intel that this guy's going to be a danger later on, nationalism, and that they won't want to create an atomic weapon and all that. I'm not saying Putin is perfect, but he's not stupid either. Now, what he's done and his destruction and all that, you know, authority, authoritarian figures do that all the time that's nothing new two people go to war Stalin went to war Lenin went to war Hitler and, and, and Stalin both crooks both were killing people to stay in power Hitler was so was Stalin and Lenin killing people they killed Trotsky so you see this you know we can we can we can say they're the bad guys, but what are you doing? Looks like the United States was saying Indians are bad guys, they're scalping everybody. And we, we, we're, in the United States, mass atrocities were happening too on both sides. That's what sinful man is like. We, we call their death fighters uh, terrorists. They call us when we go into their country invaders. You don't know how many times. Oh, you're an invader. When I was in Lebanon. Yankee, go home. And I'm like, what the hell are we doing here, man? You don't even understand how these Arab think. These Muslim things. And you got people that say, and people saying that they are, uh, the nation building. Man, what you got in the Middle East, all these small tribal groups. Palestinians, we call them PLO, but they're all tribal groups with their own chieftains. The uh, Shia Muslim, they got, they got their so-called leaders, but you got all kinds of chieftains. You got different tribal groups, and we trying to do some nationalism, nation building. That's why it won't work. That's why we don't understand the Middle East and what's going down. They want our minds. Well, you know, I can tell somebody when they're lying. This is random thoughts now because I'm, I'm about to hit the sister who wants to be in the Supreme Court. She, she lying out her teeth. When they ask her the question, about women and abortion and all that. And she come out and she said, well, I'm not a biologist. You, you know, you can smile all you want. You can cry all you want. Miss Chief Justice, who's about to get in, right? And it's not partisan. It's going to be because the left wing going to put her in there. You can smile and give me the cheesy smile all you want. And she got the devil in her. When you allow pornographic people that enslave children, when you give them light sentences, and you're a woman, you gotta look at that. And you're black, and they're exploiting children, and you give life sentence, you gotta look at that. And you're going to be Supreme Court judge? I'll tell you, man. Tunnel talks about socialism. I agree with him. Call it what it is. It is what it is. This new generation coming up and been indoctrinated in the colleges, indoctrinated in the high school. You know, when this all, all began, Back in the 80s with the We Are the World, We Are the Children concert, to Unite for This, A Night for Farm Aid, A Night for African Aid, Unite for AIDS, all these musicians and these people in Hollywood are part of that. We found Sean Penn is now in, in Pennsylvania, in, uh, in Poland. Wait a minute. 
I thought he was with the dictators. Didn't we, did he go to Venezuela? Wasn't he in in, in um in Cuba when Castro was there? Wasn't he Venezuela when they had that uh uh Bolivian Bolivista guy there? Yeah. And he was all lauding it. Wasn't he communist? Wasn't he socialist? And now he's talking about Putin. And we know he's left wing. Chopin is left wing. Oh, dried up fruit. I don't believe S Zelensky. Something's up with him. And the EU's going to help him. And NATO's going to help him stay in power. And we got a two drag. We got one dragon with two heads. It put it survives. They can then turn around, cut a deal, and end up arm in arms, friends. We're friends. Yeah, I bomb your country. We're friends. Like China and Vietnam. China ate the north. Now now they all friend friendly. China's friendly with North Korea. Yeah, you keep you keep throwing them bombs out there. <laughs> you, you, you know, we talk Taiwan, Taiwan and, and China, they're at odds. But who's to say in six months they cut a deal? Remember Ireland, the North and the South? Then they finally cut a deal, now we got peace. When all throughout the, the seven, there was number fighting, terrorism, all kinds of crazy stuff going on between uh, the Protestant Irish and the Catholic Irish. Now look at them. So you can't tell me opposing opposing forces can turn around and become one. China was opposed to Russia. Now they, they shaking hands. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So don't always buy the narrative these people are going to do what they're going to do. But I believe in the prophecies of the Bible. If so, it's, it's fulfilling itself. Slowly but surely. We're going to be one world order. He's taking control of everything. The media, everything. And nothing gets out of out of Ukraine with, with, with him saying so. It's all control. The narrative is all control. He's a great hero. He ain't even fought. People taking them in. We got a thousand Ukrainians. And I'm not against Ukrainians coming to America. But you got to look at our next door neighbor. You know, why don't we do the same with, with the Mexicans? Mexicans have done more and died more for the U.S., World War II, Korea, Vietnam. And when I was in, You know, they've worked out fields. They've helped produce farmland. They help in the tobacco tobacco industry. Just saying, man. I don't trust that man. I don't trust the media. You gotta read between the. I, I don't trust the media, man. This guy's came out of nowhere, and now he's like. You say Zelensky, you don't even have to say his first name. Everybody knows who he is. Where's he gonna be? President of the E the EU when this is all over? Is he gonna be part of NATO? What role is he gonna play? Besides building we know we know uh Tony Blair is with the Vatican now. Wasn't there the the chairman? Of the Senate, some chairman, he's working for the Vatican now. He left, he resigned, he's working with the Vatican. With the Jesuits. Gotta look at that. Just saying. That's what I'm gonna call this, just saying. 
Don't put all your eggs in one bucket. <laughs> I have one I haven't heard one word against Zelensky from the media. None of the media outlets saying something negative. Nobody said anything about him stopping young men from leaving the country. Nobody said anything about martial law. Nobody's looking at that. And then if it, the descendants of Russia, then some people don't want to be part of Ukraine in the Crimea and in the eastern part. They're Russians that ended up living there. And people forget Ukraine was part of Russia a couple of times. That didn't mean they should go to war. It could have been it could have been diplomatic, south diplomatically, but this guy, there's something about this guy that he's willing to use force, whatever means necessary to get his agenda done. And I'm not with it. He's like, mentality, I got the military. They're going to back me up. I'm going to decide to do whatever it takes. We're going to fight this war even if a million civilians die. I don't see no remorse in them. There's something up with that guy. We shall see. It's the sailor, the piper man, piper the sailor man. Late night smoke, a beautiful Ross here. Fifty bucks, man. Smokes like a gem. I love that Northern Tunnel guy. It's really nice. I wanted to get the same one. There was one on on Amazon. I I decided not to get it. Keep working, breaking these regards in. Concentrating more on tobacco. The sailor, the piper man, piper the sailor man, signing out. I don't trust him. I don't trust Zelensky. There's something about him. Something about him. Watch him.